monitor we're going to talk about today is the Dell Ultra HD 4K monitor model number P2715Q. I ordered this monitor over a year ago and it has been my daily driver for quite some time. I've done so much with it. I really do know it quite well and I thought I would do a video on it even though it's a little bit older and recommend it for video editors and video shooters on set. Check the link in the description to the monitor. There you'll find there are two different sizes, a 24 inch and a 27 inch. I have the 27 inch model and it costs around $480 and then the 24 inch is right at $350. This is a 4K or really UHD resolution monitor, meaning you'll have a resolution of up to 3840 by 2160, which is great for those of us shooting 4K videos. The refresh rate is 60 Hertz and for color, we're looking at 90% sRGB and between 75 and 80 when it comes to Adobe RGB. The monitor comes with a stand design that I think is one of the best out there. If you wanna get the monitor a little higher or have even more flexibility, this monitor does have a standard visa mount and that's how I use it at my desk with a monitor arm. This allows me to move it in several different configurations and I love it because if I'm getting a little fatigued in one position, I can simply adjust the monitor and we're good to go. I can also swing the monitor out if I need to access the ports on the back, which brings us to the inputs and outputs of this Dell monitor. For connections, we have one mini display port in, one full display port in, one display port out, and finally one HDMI in. The other cool thing about this monitor is it has a built-in USB hub, giving us four USB 3.0 ports. There's also a USB 3 in for connecting directly to your computer, and finally a 3.5 millimeter line out for audio. This means you could connect up to three machines to the monitor and send a display port out to another monitor, connect several USB devices, and you've got one more audio output that you can use depending on your setup. This is huge for me because I'm able to connect a keyboard and mouse as well as an external audio interface and I still have an extra spot on the monitor when it comes to USB jacks. So now let's talk about using this in two different ways and where it really shines, I think, for video people. Number one is obviously as a monitor for your editing setup. The 4K resolution, especially at the larger 27 inch size, is just a dream to work with, whether that be on a Mac or a PC. I use it with my Hackintosh and it works fantastically for Final Cut 10. If you haven't edited your 4K footage on a 4K monitor, you should definitely check it out. It makes such a difference compared to 1080p. Another great use is if you already have something like an iMac or a more expensive calibrated monitor, this would make a really solid second monitor either as your final display or color grade monitor or viewer, or just a way to preview your 4K footage as you're editing it. To really get the most out of your monitor, definitely check out Data Colors Calibrators, and that's what I use on this and all of my monitors. It really helps you dial in the color, and with this monitor, it's very easy to quickly adjust those settings and get it just so. And that brings us to the menu system, which is very simple. There's four buttons on the front of the display that lets you quickly jump in, change inputs, assign calibration, calibration settings, and so much more. So that's using it in an editing or grading scenario. Another way that's really great to use it is on set. This isn't the highest build quality monitor out there, but it is so much better than the glossy garbage that you'll often find from other brands. Using this Visa Kupo adapter, you can easily mount this monitor to something like a C-stand for use on set. Using the four screws that come with the adapter, you can simply mount it to the back of the Visa mount on your monitor and slap it on a stand, a table, a cart, or really anything on set. If you work a lot in a studio environment or do longer shoots and would like a larger screen, this is a great option and works brilliantly with 4K cameras. It's so hard to go back to smaller seven inch monitors. Once you've worked with a large monitor on set, it lets you see so much more detail that you would almost never catch until you sit down to edit. If you're interested in using this type of monitor on set, I'd recommend going with the 24 inch, the slightly smaller monitor, and then picking up one of the numerous monitor bags online, letting you easily move this thing in and out of a vehicle and up on set. So even though this monitor came out several years ago, it is still a great option if you are into video editing, editing your photos, or using it on set like we talked about. I've seen several reports of the newest 2017 models having some quality problems and not nearly as good as this older model, so 
that's something to consider as well. I love this monitor. There's almost nothing really bad I can say about it. Yes, the bezels could be thinner. Yes, it could be a little lighter and have USB-C, but unless something really awesome comes out or something piques my interest, I am more than happy with this monitor for my main setup here in the studio. And if I ever move up to something larger or curved or more modern, I can use this over in the studio space with my cameras and really maximize the use of this monitor. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Check the links in the description to pick up this monitor if you're interested. Otherwise, you can watch fresh videos here at DSLR Video Shooter every single week. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.